Hello everyone and welcome to another Sandy Springs FC match review. Today we look at highlights from the ADSL League match between Sandy Springs FC and the visiting Atlanta Red Star played at Dunwoody Springs. The race at the top of D2 means that every game could mean the difference between a division title and nothing at all with as many as five teams with at least an outside chance at a D2 title or promotion to D1. For Red Star, this was a vital game if they were to have any hopes of a second place finish to qualify for a chance for promotion and Sandy Springs are looking to stay on track to challenge division leaders Atlanta Juniors 2 for the Division 2 title, Region A, for automatic promotion. This was set up perfectly to be a tense and exciting match and both teams look to deliver on the promise. There was end-to-end -end action right from the start, and here Red Star almost gets on the score sheet within the first five minutes, but the final ball harmlessly went over the bar. Moments later, Gustavo Duran almost gets the Eagles on the board with an imaginative effort from long range. On 12 minutes, however, it would be Red Star's Chidi McBar making the mark from a corner. The score gave Atlanta Red Star the valuable lead in this vital match. McBoer would be a constant threat all afternoon for Red Star against the Eagles. On the replay, you can see the critical header back across goal was key in fooling the defenders and the keeper for Sandy Springs. From there, it was an easy tap-in header for McBoer to seal the goal. Midway through the first half, Sandy Springs made their own mark in the game when Aldeher Cardenas worked his way down the left wing and was brought down in the box for a call penalty. It was just the incident needed to get Sandy Springs back into the match. Pedro Leo stepped up to take the responsibilities and expertly dispatched to bring Sandy Springs back level at one apiece. That score would hold through the halftime. In the second half as it started, there was a bit of controversy right after the break when Red Star thought they had put in a beauty of a free kick only for the move to be called all sides. Yeah. Offside? A replay shows that the call was very close indeed, but impossible to confirm from our camera angle. The game remained tied at one apiece with both sides playing to win. Sandy Springs was showing a lot more composure in the second half as they got more into the game and kept more of the possession. This new direction paid off as the pressure produced a spectacular goal from captain Salvatore Ortiz who wrestled for control of the ball before letting loose with a long range rocket. The score put Sandy Springs into the lead for the first time on the day as they led 2-1 at this point. A replay shows the movement and control largely missing in the first half for Sandy Springs was evident on this play. And Ortiz once again finds himself on the Sandy Springs score sheet, giving his team every chance at victory on the day. Just seconds later, Rory Pratt almost put in a third on a quick counterattack. Only the outstretched fingertips of the Red Star keeper kept Sandy Springs from scoring on this occasion. Red Star were not without their own threats, however, here again moving quickly on the offensive with a half chance that Sergio Cavillio gratefully collected in front of the Sandy Springs goal. Amazingly, the pace of the game continued to escalate, which suits yeah, Sandy yeah. Springs well. And Rory Pratt, who earlier came within a whisker scoring, made no mistake this time as he drills home a third to Sandy Springs midway through the second half. A two-goal lead may have felt safe for the Eagles at this point in the, in the half, but more drama would not be far away. Three one. Three one. Yeah. On the replay, you can see Captain Ortiz was again part of the positive move, slotting in Pratt in stride, and Pratt made it look easy as he buries the goal. Atlanta Red Star would not finish, however. Wave after wave of attack followed, and pressure began to mount on the Sandy Springs goal. This pressure paid off with their second of the day when Jonathan Ray converted from the corner yep. and it was now getting yep. very tense for Sandy Springs, who looked safe just a moment earlier. Again. On the replay, you can see that the ball managed to find the head of Ray in a crowd of Sandy Springs defenders and it seemed no stopping Red Star at this point. The unthinkable was about to happen on yet another set piece. McBoer 
headed in his second of the game and red star's third to bring them level with sandy springs in this very dramatic game under very dramatic circumstances. Three all, but not all over yet. At this point, you can cut the tension in the air with the ongoing drama. Here, a half chance from Joey Cochran gave hope to Sandy Springs, but there was a certain hesitation about their play now. The flash point of the match came after a challenge by a Red Star player on a Sandy Springs player near midfield. Tempers flared for the first time in the match as a second yellow was shown to the Red Star player for the studs up challenge. Now Red Star were looking to play on with 10 men to try to hold on to the 3-3 score and possibly take a point away from the match. A melee continued to occur after the call and the referees would have to take action. The referees did take some time to discuss further the events of the incident and had a brief conference to make what they considered would be the correct call. They eventually ended up showing a yellow to a Sandy Springs player and a straight red to another Red Star player who had kicked out at a Sandy Springs player after the whistle had blown. This seemed to be the break Sandy Springs needed with only seven minutes remaining in the game. They desperately wanted to win. On the next sequence of play, Raul Monge was almost put in only to see him pull his shot harmlessly wide. It was at this point the unthinkable occurred when against the run of play, Red Star managed a counter that ended in a corner kick. Unbelievably, with a two-man advantage, Sandy Springs got it all wrong in defense and allowed an unmarked Eddie DuPont slot in from an acute angle to give Atlanta Red Star the shock lead at 4-3 to three on 88 minutes. Unbelievably, Red Star had worked and grabbed the initiative in this game that looked surely lost for them, especially at the dismissal of two of their players. Desperation was now the situation for Sandy Springs, and it may have influenced Raul Monge to rush his shot that needed a bit more composure to go on goal. But again, another Sandy Springs attack went begging. Sandy Springs were now pushing forward for a last gasp, and the final chance fell to the feet of Metzantica Mokatsana, but his effort ballooned over the bar along with all the hopes to, of a comeback for a consolation point in the match. And with that came the final whistle, and an upset clutch win for Atlanta Red Star against Sandy Springs FC. A wild game to be sure, but more importantly, a huge impact on the title race. The victory for Red Star means that they are just a point off the pace for a second place finish and mathematically still with a shout at a D2 Region A title, though needing a lot of help to accomplish that. Sandy Springs, on the other hand, is not out of it yet, but have damaged their title chances quite a bit, especially considering they must still play each of the challengers for the title, including Atlanta Red Star, again before all is said and done. This division title and promotion place are still largely up for grabs, and between the five teams still in the hunt for the two places, anything can happen. So keep an eye on this place and enjoy the title race and support your team all the way to the end. It's going to be a photo finish in D2 Region A. That's all we have for now. We look forward to bringing you another Sandy Springs FC video review next week. Thank you for watching.